we, the people, the people of the Federal, of the Federal Republic, Republic of Nigeria, of Nigeria having, having firmly and solemnly resolved to live in unity and harmony as one, as one indivisible and indissoluble and sovereign, sovereign nation, nation under God. That makes the problem is fake. We the people, who are the we? When did we meet? And why can't we do it? There is no constitution that is near as fake, near as deceitful, near as make-believe, in nature and in content, as the constitution, as the what we call the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999, as amended. The constitution that operates in Nigeria today is a fraudulent, uh, mischievous document foisted on Nigeria by a departing uh, military junta. I, I would have thought that the first item on the agenda of the government that came to power in 1999 was to address the issue of that constitution, its legitimacy. Uh, because like the Patriot observed, he told a lie against itself by saying that we Nigerians uh, under God have agreed to live together, blah, blah, blah. There was no time when we were asked that question. Do hereby, Do hereby make, make enact, enact, and give, and give to ourselves, ourselves the following, the following constitution. constitution. The military cannot give us a constitution. The constitution that we have at present is a fraud. The constitution creates massive avenues for corruption and comprehensively protects the potential beneficiaries of corruption. The Constitution, the 1999 Constitution, is a constitution that I believe we should jettison completely because it does not augur well. After 17 years, it has created more problems for us in Nigeria. Our present extant constitution is an imposition of the military. The Supreme Military Council that was not elected by anybody, that did not respect any known parameter in its recruitment except seniority in the army, that was lopsided in terms of its geographical identity of membership, imposed the constitution, enacted it like a legislation. It was not subjected to a plebiscite, it was not subjected to a referendum. In law, you say it's not a touch on us because the people did not agree that the 1999 constitution is their constitution. We didn't vote for its approval. This is the problem. This constitution can never give us progress. This constitution can never give us peace. Minimum condition for re-entering, for, for renegotiating even any form of union. Where we are now is that the union is at an end. Anybody who doesn't understand it will learn the hard way. That the constitution has been delegitimized and is going to be decommissioned.